Greetings again, one and all, and welcome back to the Reserve List. Say hello, Reserve List. Hello. Bonjour. Uh, absolutely uh, beautiful. Guys, last time we left off, these guys fought against Brandon Lagazi, this strange human uh, with the glowing uh, green points of light of its darkness, who was controlling the townsfolk and Shadison and summoned a uh, strange nightmare being from the realm of nightmares itself uh, to fight them. But thanks to uh, some absolutely brilliant plays uh, by Nurgle to make sure that he could be seen. And then uh, Tom Bar to uh, uh, toll the dead uh, on him so he couldn't throw a civilian in the way of the attack. Uh, you were able to take him down uh, after discovering that what he was after was the money and the wand of seeming that you guys got after interfering with uh, the criminal schemes in the first town of Batterbury. Uh, Gwen had a great uh, moment where she sort of took charge uh, and uh, told all of the recovering uh, civilians to go back to their homes. Um, and, uh, and this blacksmith, uh, brought uh, Mary Brown into her home. And uh, Tom Barr was the only one who saw the face of Edgar Galanis as he uh, teleported in and sneakily closed this portal to uh, nightmares before disappearing again into the night. Mm. And uh, that is where we are now. Um, I, I throw it back to you. Uh, Tom Bar, you had a you had questions, I believe. I had questions because I have a suspicion that this this Galanis dude is so he can go into the shadow out like the nightmare realm, right? He closed a portal to the nightmare realm. The other thing he was doing looked a little bit more like like teleporting. All right, interesting. Yeah. So he's got magic powers that we previously weren't aware of. That's right. Um, and he's this is odd. It's like he has a reason to go, whereas no one else does. A reason to go? Yeah, because they're like. Every, every, like everyone else there is kind of like he's but he's like everyone else is like going back into their house but he's making mm. an escape he yeah he he got in to to close this portal and got out again uh didn't want to be seen doing that so he doesn't want to be he doesn't want to be seen he's got magical powers and he's clearly making an escape from the scene of a like a blatant kind of like scene of the crime so this dude is totally suspicious. Um, mm. And um, yeah, that's um, my theory is that he's in on this. Does Tom Bar tell us that he saw him? Yeah, I tell everyone else that I saw him. <laughs> I saw him, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, and you guys can all see that this fear portal is now closed. And do they see the fear portal closing? Like, do I point up and be like, hey, fellas? Um, I'm going to say you, that they miss the actual closing of the portal because it's a very quiet affair when it happens. So something's up. Mm. So. Uh, you guys, a lot of, some of you have taken quite a heavy damage from this fight. Uh, it's now early uh, hours of the morning. Um, is there anything anybody would like to do? Uh, just very immediately right now? Uh, yes, I'd like to recover very much. <laughs> Please. We recover from when we've been hit. Do we like regain? Uh, when you go to away? sleep, you will wake up having recovered all of the hit points and okay. spell slots that you have expended and lost. I would like to do that, please. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to um... do that too. Did the sheriff ever show up? So now the sheriff shows up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, response time, it's crap. Yeah, really, really bad uh, law enforcement uh, uh, arrival time. Uh, sort of on a farm horse, um, because you guys took the good riding horses, uh, clopping forward. Um, 
gets off very saddle sore. Again, he's just sort of like he's he's a little bit um, he's a little bit overweight. Uh, uh, I'm sweating. Uh, 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 what what uh, what happened? What happened here? Oh God! Is that a burned body in the middle of the street? Uh, who who died? What that building? Uh, um. Yeah, we'll we'll just we'll just say for expediency's sake that you fill him in. Uh, the only thing I would like to ask is uh, how much detail you give about uh, Shadison's involvement and uh, about Edgar Galanis's involvement. Hmm. I want to. I'm going to spare Shadison because he's a. I don't. Hmm. I don't know about you guys, but personally, when Gwen, from Gwen's point of view, what she'll say is basically uh, he was obviously under very powerful uh, controlling magics, um, and it's been a harrowing experience for him. So I won't say, like, he killed Adelaide, but if it comes out, hopefully yeah. it'll be viewed through the he was beyond manipulated lens is how I will say it. Yeah, 100%. My worry is that that won't like suffice for like, the rest of people, even if they don't like it. But uh, yeah, I think we should definitely talk about the fact that talk about Brent mentioned um, Brendan and Galanis. Uh, yeah, Galanis. Edgar. 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 Yeah. Are we mentioning Edgar Galanis? What are our thoughts on that? Gareth know him? The they've met. Uh, they were they were arguing over Edgar's mm. involvement in this yes. whole thing in, in the first place. How do you feel about that, Gwendolyn? Um, I'll say uh, I was hoping since the Zero Task Force was in town that they maybe would have come to help. I know that they I saw them leave the inn earlier. I assumed that they were out, but it's a shame they couldn't have been here sooner. Oh yeah, well those uh, those uh, <clears throat> big city uh, special agent types like to toot their own trumpets, but when it actually comes to getting things done, says the man who arrived five minutes late. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they got nothing on local law enforcement. People know the town. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, of course, of course. <clears throat> uh, he'll say, I, look, everybody's clearly had quite a night. Um, it, this was Brandon who, you, did you guys tell him that this was Brandon who, who was killed? And that he was the one who was doing all this stuff? Yeah. 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 Uh, all right, okay. Um, I'll deal with <laughs> the charred remains of uh, Brandon. Um, you guys clearly helped these people an awful lot. Uh, go get your rest. Uh, give Shadison a bit of a suspicious look, but you guys have vouched for him. Uh, and he goes, we'll, we'll talk this out. Uh, we'll talk this out at some point tomorrow. Okay. Before um, we go, I'll tell yes. him uh, to tell Mary Brown that we'd like to speak with her uh just after we went through so many hardships together <laughs> uh, uh, not now but <laughs> in the next couple days or so yeah 100 percent uh 100 percent um fantastic you guys make your way back to uh the gentle repose uh shadison uh just says um i can't Wait, I'm going to, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go get her. Uh, you guys, you guys rest uh, in the morning. Hopefully this will be, this will have been sorted out. Uh, he's, he looks beyond tired, like so uh, emotionally, mentally exhausted from all the stuff that has happened to him, like so harrowed and stuff, but he's just like, he's just keeping going basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can save her. It's okay. I, I can do this. And uh, and I don't... Uh, everybody, um, I obviously 
could not have done any of this without you. You of all, uh, he just starts weeping. Um, I'm so grateful uh, to all of you. I, I, you've put yourself in so much danger for for me, and uh, against such uh, absolute monsters as that. If there is anything that I can do to repay you, anything, you have but to name it. Um, ooh. (laughs) (laughs) Anything. (laughs) What can we extort from the paper boy? (laughs) Who who has shadow magic? (laughs) Traumatized paper boy with shadow magic. Yeah. (laughs) Um <laughs> well, now you say what what can I <laughs> <laughs> Well listen, we were gonna get drinks, right? So you go ahead and think about it, uh you sleep on it and uh let me know tomorrow. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll grab that uh we'll grab that pint, eh? Hair of the dog. <laughs> Hair of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll think about it. I'll sleep on it. <laughs> uh, cool. <sighs> Darkness uh, consumes him and uh, he fades into the shadows and is gone. Uh, definitely uh, definitely shadow dark magic, but not of the nightmare realm. Uh, Lydiana can tell you. Chill dark magic. Chill, chill, dark man. I don't. I never thought I would say that. Um, but of the various dark evil magics, this is this is not Diet Coke. As bad. Of um, not quite as bad. Uh, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, you guys can go ahead, sleep, uh, get up in the morning, restored of all of your hit points and spell slots. Well earned snooze. What hit points am I being restored to? Because I did have twenty. So it would be your maximum would be twenty. So back up to that. Sweet. And I believe twenty one for Isabin. Yep, yep. Joshua. Yes. Do you, have I ever known my dad to have magic? Um. It's, he's never displayed magic in front of you. Uh, he's never time. displayed a lot in front of me, to be fair. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh. We'll add that to the list of... Because yeah. you, <laughs> you don't have magic, do you? I have a little bit from being a ranger, but not like... Yeah, and you don't always like inherit magic. It depends on what kind of magic-y user you get. Some are learned, some are inherited. Yeah. All kinds of fun stuff. Just another facet of her father she doesn't know. So somebody like Shadison with the kind of magic that he's uh, exhibiting, it's likely that he is a sorcerer, which is something you were born with. Um, whereas other people like, like for example, Nurgle uh, or Tombar learn magic over time. Uh acquire it through study. And other people like Lydiana or Warlocks um, make deals or encounter magic uh, that they then bring with them through the rest of their lives. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, The morning comes. uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. I think you guys uh, you you guys you know what? All all I will say is that um, Glynn is uh, ready to give a spell scroll uh, copying to Nurgle, and you guys have a, a gig later in the night. And I will I will leave it up to you guys to, to see what you want to do. Uh, go ahead. So we've woken up from our sleep. Yes. And later in that evening, so we've got a whole day. Yeah, so it's the morning of the next day now. Right. We want to see Mary Brown today, or do we want to? Shall we make a to-do list? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so we got to see Mary Brown. 
We need to get uh, get Nurgle his fix. Mm -hmm. Check in with uh, Shadison. Yeah. Uh, and uh, do our gig. I will put forward um, in the morning I will say um, I kind of lost over it last night but uh, when I was talking to um, Galanis he did tell us that we needed to leave town um, mm -hmm. and he would uh, send us back to various places we came from if we didn't um, and I told him that I had to consult with you all so he can't say we're do I said we would have to have a meeting as a group with him mm -hmm. so he could explain to the rest of you all why so um, but we haven't had that yet because he hasn't deigned to show up uh, so I'm, I'm just going to say, he, well, he can't tell us that we did anything wrong, uh, when, you know, we were supposed to have an appointment before we left and he hasn't upheld that. So I think we're still fine being here, mm -hmm. but, uh, that's up to you guys. Um, but maybe I was thinking maybe we could leave a note with D to, um, give to him to say he can come find us if he really needs to talk to us. But, that sounds good. Uh, yeah? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Please. Okay. Um, also, he... is... Uh... Yeah, he said he would deport me and uh, he'd probably do something similar with you guys, but um, he kind of knows my mom because he's my dad. So, um, yeah, we just caused some problems. Um, but I'll go, I'll go, I'll go uh, leave that note for him. Uh, okay, and she'll get up and leave. Mm -hmm. So done. Uh, D, uh, actually, you know what? Uh, you go down. Um, you go, you go down, at, and uh, D uh, comes uh, and talks to you and says, um, "Yes, absolutely, I can, uh, I can do that." Um, I wondered if you and your friends would like to uh, <laughs> would like to be there for a casting of Revivify that is going to happen. Uh, Shadison has been desperately going around trying to find somebody who can cast that spell. Turns out back in the day, I did a little bit of magic and uh, I still can do that. So uh, we were going to cast it here. I think we'd all love to be here for that. Thank you for offering. Uh, those who don't know, Revivify is the spell that is going to bring Adelaide Brown back to life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Um, he says, Shadison has passed out, but he explained in great detail uh, what you have done for him and for Adelaide, and you're nothing less than heroes. I hope you know that. Mm. I know. <laughs> Especially you, Tom Barr. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, yes, so I will pass this along to Edgar when I see him. Uh, you should know, if you're interested, uh, however, uh, that the majority of the Zero Task Force have left town. Left town in the early hours of the morning. How convenient. Did they take the prisoner with them? They took their prisoners with them. Prisoners, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, the two of them. So, uh, if I see him, I'll pass this along, but uh, it's possible that they left town. Uh, do you know why he would 
Did he say why he was staying behind? Uh, no, no, he didn't say why he was staying sticking behind. Cool, 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 cool. Mm. Th- um, thank you. Um, all right. Did, Sorry, go. Yes. Do, did you know Brandon Lagazzi? Uh, I can't say that I no. He uh, Justin told me he was uh, he came into town recently and took on the role of the uh, lunch lad in the cafeteria, one of the colleges. I make my own food and serve it here. I never have the opportunity myself to go into town and uh, into onto the college campuses, so I I never had the displeasure. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. Ah, so he came to town. When did he come into town? This. Uh, Shadison comes down the stairs, rubbing his eyes. Uh, came into town uh, like a week and a half ago. Um. Here, let's get a table. Uh, and uh, I'll I'll walk you through it. Um, D, if you if you could go get Adelaide in the meantime, that would be great. Uh. The sooner we do this, the better. We're like, psh, psh. <laughs> wake up, <laughs> Adelaide. <laughs> um, D kind of goes, yes, indeed. <laughs> Very slow turtle pace. Um, Simpson goes, uh, you should know, um, Brandon's not gone. Uh, he will be back. Uh, or or others like him. I, when I was very young, he hasn't aged a day in the last 15 years. Um, he got in my head then as well and used my new powers to make me kill my own parents and then disappeared. And uh, then he showed up again. (laughs) Um, And I was certain he was back for me, but I think he was as surprised as I was to see him. And then he, uh, I tried to stay away from him, but he was actually looking out, uh, he was looking for Adelaide. Mm. And then he used... The bits and pieces that I've put together, it sounds like it was part of a job. It sounds like he came for a reason, Uh, but I um, know Adelaide uh, pretty well and uh, I don't think it was anything to do with her she didn't do anything wrong Uh, she she decided that she didn't want to finish college and be a scholar she decided that she wanted to explore the things and to travel and live her life and she was the only one who gave me a chance and we were going to go traveling together so i don't uh i don't know why brandon made me do what he made me do but it uh I hate to say this, it's possible that she was collateral or it was to send a message. I don't know. I, I'm going to pull out the, the two notes I have currently with uh, the, the spider, gold spider with the emerald eyes. And I'm going to say, do you know what this means 
we've come across it before. I've seen, I've seen Brandon carrying that symbol to the best of my knowledge. He represents or is part of uh, something called the Lagazi Cabal. Uh, they're a family or a syndicate or something like that. Uh, I, the pieces I get make me think that he's not alone. There are others with similar abilities to his, but not the same. There's a hierarchy, but it's very weird. Have any of us ever heard of the Lagazi Cabal? I am gonna go ahead and ask Tom Barr for the mother of all history checks. Okay. Mm. <laughs> um, this is a DC 16 history check. So a D, what does that mean? But then it's difficulty class 16. So you want to get a 16 or higher on this roll. I have to go to the, okay, ooh boy. Yeah. <laughs> 17. Ooh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. History. What's the. Oh. Pl my... Minus one, 16. That's, that makes it. It's going to make it anyway. That's right. What does that mean? Uh, just makes it. Just makes it. Um, Tom Bart, we really haven't gone into uh, a lot of your personal pirate history. Um, we know you had an ex. We know you wrangled uh, sea unicorns uh, mm -hmm. at some point in your history. Uh, were you part of a pirate, traditional pirate crew at a particular uh, point in your history? I was briefly a part of a, a pirate crew. Um, we, um, I, the ship was called the, um, it was called the Dark Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> that was the name. Yes. <laughs> I was captain of the Dark Rainbow. You were the captain. Uh, yeah, I was the captain of, I was Captain Tom Jolly Snorkel of the Dark Rainbow. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is purely curiosity on my part. What happened uh, to that? <laughs> well, um, so what happened? <laughs> well, I was um, we I was met by um, some met by sirens. And um, and upon upon meeting these sirens was um, <laughs> was um, upon meeting these sirens the, the the dark rainbow was was sailed off sailed into the rocks while I was distracted and um, gotta get those wax earplugs <laughs> yeah yeah. And um, you know, um, I've I've since struggled to forgive myself for my for my my um, my actions, uh, but I, I I lost my crew and with it the the dark rainbow, um, and I was I was saved by some sea unicorns, who I who I lived amongst for for several years um they they integrated me into their, their culture and their their community um i i was i was very much one of them and um then they made me their captain and um with that i i had a fleet of of sea unicorns with whom I, I I went pirating with. Incredible. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, during your time on the Dark Rainbow, before you ran with the Sea Unicorns, um, there uh, like the Hell's Angels. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, 
there were a couple of jobs that your uh, shipmates um, would have uh, brought to you. Uh, smuggling jobs uh, from one country to another country. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a couple of, uh, of pirate gigs with special equipment that was loaned to you from this particular organization. Uh, okay. With the expectation that they get a cut for for mm -hmm. giving you the capability of pulling off these jobs. Yeah. So yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. So the organization. Cool. Yeah, but you never. Uh, you've never met an actual member of that organization. It's always been through go-betweens uh, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Hell yeah! What a story! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I, I even suspect that one of the people I was working for, um, mm. after, after, after doing some dirty work for them, may have hired those sirens to try and kill me to kind of cover up any loose ends. Amazing. Uh, who do you think ratted you out? Or it's, you... Hard to, yeah. it's hard to say. Um, it was, it was actually. Should I say this? But I may have done some work. Well, people I had heard were connected to this 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 organization. Um. <clears throat> And um, I, I suspect that um, it was after um, smuggling some some goods for them mm. that, uh, that I believe the 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 sirens were in fact paid off. Um, Percent. Uh, how much of this do you tell everybody? Ooh, all of it. <laughs> no, so I don't. I don't mention the syndicate thing because I don't want to be like, wait, no, me, no, of course. So you I'm... don't mention that you recognize this cabal. I totally recognize the cabal because I've worked for them in the past. I've right. done jobs with them. Do I mention it? Yeah. Or is this a um, secret that you're keeping to this yourself? This is a secret I'm keeping to myself, totally. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I was a pirate. I did job dirty work for criminals. I've done work for these criminals. They then tried to kill me. And then I went joyriding with mm. sea unicorns. Brilliant. Thank you kindly. The the other thing that I'm just remembering now somehow is that um, Isabin is also a criminal. Uh, so Isabin, would you like to make the same check? Uh, history, DC 16, uh, to see if you have had in your underground uh, life any encounters with the Cabal. So... I rolled an 18, and history is plus two, so 20. Um, yes. Uh, again, you working in the capital um, uh, have come across... Yeah, how do you think Isabin uh, has come across the, the, the Cabal? You also recognize this name, the Lagazi Cabal. She's Well, she is rogue, but she's kind of... She doesn't like to steal too much. She kind of prefers to charm things out of people rather than out and out steal things. That's her kind of modus operandi. Um, but yeah, she's kind of come across them because she she hangs she's hung around in a lot of bars and pubs over the years, and she's got very high tolerance for drinks, so she can actually drink most people under the table, even though she's tiny. Um, so yeah, she recognises them from various places that she's been around the country and she's done little jobs for them normally something when they need 
something small and sneaky done and they need somebody to get into a tight space or something like that so that's the kind of thing that she's done for them but she doesn't particularly like working for people she'd rather work on her own she'd rather be her own boss so when needs must so she's she was she's an urchin as well so she was poor growing up she didn't have any money she was in an orphanage and she doesn't ever want to be poor again so she'll work when she needs it she'll kind of do whatever it needs doing to make sure she's not poor basically uh what i will say with the two of your checks um tom bar you know from your work as a pirate uh that these guys work internationally um but that their base of operations is in garendia so you know that they they will fund crime no matter where you are in the world as long as a cut of that makes it back to Garendia, so the country that you are currently in. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say, is a bandit, you know more about what has gone on within the borders of the country. These guys f fund just about half of all crime. Mm -hmm. um, they, uh, from everything, from, from little things to big heists, um, they will play long cons, they will do uh, short ones. Uh, and so there is room in there for you to do little jobs for them. Uh, there would have been bigger work for you uh, that you know other people that would have taken stuff like that uh, who are not necessarily part of the cabal, but they definitely contract other criminals out, basically. Uh, so they are very shadowy. Very few people meet with them in person. And again, it's mostly through other contacts who are like, hey, I've heard of a job. Um, and you know that they, they're very, uh, sort of reliable. The, the intel that they've given you going into, uh, the little jobs that you have taken for them has always been good. Mm -hmm. Um, you give them the cut and they always take it. They're very professional, uh, and never try to cheat you on any, anything like that. That's why Isabin has worked for them several times. Because yeah. she, she knows that they're not going to shaft her. So this is really the first time either of you would have been, like, besides your suspicion, Tombar, that they might have been trying to tie up loose ends, uh, they have been nothing but steady, reliable uh, providers of criminal jobs. Uh, very cool. Very cool indeed. Um, I will ask the same question. I'll just say, uh, is Isabin keeping this as a secret to herself, or are you letting people know that you recognize this? Um, I think she's probably keeping it to herself. She likes to play her cards close to her chest as much as possible. So yeah, she's kind of she'll tell people if she needs to, but for now, she's glorious, not going to. glorious. So at this point, the rest of us like we don't know anything about it. Cool, cool. Thank you. Shall Good. proceed appropriately. Uh, for expediency's sake, um, the uh, groundskeeper is going to enter with Adelaide um, in uh, his arms. The groundskeeper is uh, is this enormous, uh, hunched over. Uh, uh, what's the race I'm thinking of? Uh, in, enormous hunched over uh, earth genasi, so uh, a, um, a sort of an earth elemental uh, person, so very sort of like rocky skin, uh, sort of boulderous, uh, uh, craggy shoulders and, uh, and face, um, very slow, uh, comes in very, very gently, uh, places Adelaide down. Um, D comes forward uh, and places a hand on uh, Adelaide's forehead. Chattison is with you all. Um, murmurs, uh, invoking the powers of nature to uh, restore the spark of life to this woman. And uh, with a brilliant glow, uh, the necrotic uh, damage on her skin heals and she opens her eyes. Adelaide Brown is no longer dead. Oh. Oh. Uh, she immediately just grabs Chasson and gives him a huge hug, which is not necessarily what he was expecting because he 
killed her. Uh, <laughs> um, Does she remember him killing her? She remembers him killing her, but she remembers that he wasn't himself. Uh, and so she'll need an explanation, but yeah, 100%. Um, and uh, she'll be she'll be filled in uh, super quick on uh, on you guys being the ones to break her boyfriend out of his uh, mind control and uh, save everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, seems besides besides having recently been dead, she looks great. Um, <laughs> uh, young human uh, woman. Uh, who's just yeah very kind and uh, and thanks you all immensely uh, and and is as in the dark as you are about why this happened. We were gonna go see your mother today. This Brandon figure was speaking to her. He broke into your house last night. What do you want we with my she, phone? We think she might know something. Yeah. Um, I, can I, would you mind if I came? Oh, wouldn't stop a reunion like that? Uh, yeah, 100%. Uh, she's, uh, she's on board to come with. Let's do that. Yeah, may as well. So shall we do, we'll go see Mary, then we'll go, if other things don't come up, bookshop. Somewhere in there, maybe my dad will show up, and then the gig later this evening. It's kind of the sounds good order of events. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see how much we can get done um, before our time's up. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys go up. Mary obviously couldn't stay in her house because it's been uh, blasted apart, um, but she's still staying with that uh, sort of woman. Um, and actually, you guys uh, meet up with. Uh, you know what? No, uh, just you guys, Shadison and, and uh, Adelaide will come with. Uh, Adelaide will change uh, <laughs> uh, into some new clothes. But yes, yeah, you guys enter this home. Um, the the this blacksmith woman is more than happy to give you the room with Mary, uh, and Mary's sitting there with uh, with a cup of tea, um, shaking a little bit, but trying to keep herself uh, keep herself together. Um, I open it up to you guys. What do we think? We let Adelaide in. Let them. Yeah. Start with that. Um, her eyes go. Her eyes go wide, and she starts crying. Uh, <laughs> um, and she wraps her daughter in uh, her arms. Um, Darling, I had I, I had no I had no idea I had no idea that he was going to uh, do that to you. Oh, my my beautiful darling baby girl. Um, he uh, he wanted uh, he he wanted uh, me to embezzle funds from the school and uh, ruin the education of all of these uh, students and I. Uh, I, I, I told him no, uh, that I would make installments, but out of my own pocket and in smaller amounts, and uh, he killed you uh, to send a message to me. Interesting. Can I just make an insight check to make sure this is on the app and up? Yeah, go ahead. Anybody who wants to can do it. I'm going to do it too. Let's yeah. Insight this. Oh, Not a good roll. That's, that's 12. 12. I got a 17. 17, 8. Twelve here. Twelve. Um, okay, uh, t- Tom Bar, uh, you guys, you guys, you guys think that she's telling the truth. Tom Bar, the immediate question that springs to mind is, it, you, from your experience, know that 
the cabal doesn't usually get in contact themselves and uh they they will always offer work they will offer deals to mm -hmm. people um the the immediate question that comes to your mind is why was why were they expecting money from her in the first place yeah oh. money she would have had to have done some business with them before that's the assumption you can make yeah so i should right so this is the next thing but it's also safe to say that this whatever brandon dude mm -hmm. was i think was not the actual person responsible for all this he was just possessed by something else that was controlling him if that is the case then the person that he was possessing came into town recently wasn't wasn't somebody who was part of the town for a long time that he possessed uh, um so i think first of all i hmm, they don't know that i work for the rest of the group doesn't know that I worked for. No, but it's not an unreasonable thing to ask why they, they wanted money from her. Yeah, so why, why did they want money from her? That's the question I'm going to ask. Why did they want money from you? Um, oh, well, I... I uh, uh, she... <laughs> um, she doesn't... Uh, she, well, they were they were extorting. Uh, you guys can all tell immediately. Lying uh, came came to me and, and and just extorted money out of me. Wanted money. Hmm. That's interesting. Why why you, Mary? Why do you think they chose you? Uh, I'm a dean at the college. I handle the financial uh, uh, there. Um, I I have access to the accounts. Uh, it would be. A simple matter for me to uh, embezzle. Uh, but surely there are far more grand establishments than a school. I mean, a rich household. Uh, I don't. I'm sure I don't. I'm sure I don't know. Uh, How long have you Mary. been for Mary? How long of what? Sorry? How long have you been the dean of the school for? Uh, years and years and years. Has uh, this ever happened before? Has anyone ever tried to extort money from you before? No, never. It, it, uh, this, is, this is the only time. Why didn't you report it? Uh, um, report... Uh, uh, the crime being to, committed. To command, uh, yes. Um, uh, I was, I was, I was uh, afraid. I wasn't going to give in to their demands. I, I didn't expect, I, I expected my, my offer was reasonable one. And I thought uh, uh, that they would, uh, that they would leave me alone. I, I, was, I was afraid. I was afraid for my life. Mary, this matter cost you your daughter once. We're going to ask you again. Why did you feel you had to pay them the money? Uh, there's, uh, she's actively trembling, um, now, and she's looking at Adelaide and doesn't want to say what it is in front of Adelaide, um, but then she, cork, uh, popping, uh, bursts out, you were going to throw everything away to, for what, to be with this, this abomination, this, this, Freak, this dangerous drug dealing maniac. You were going to throw away everything that you worked so hard for. You were going to, to, to what? To, to travel around. There's no life in that. There's no prestige in that. You were, you could, you were on your way to being somebody. So they said that they could. And Adelaide's like, they could what? Get rid of your reason for leaving. Um, and she looks at Shazam. 
Adelaide slaps her mother across the face. Goes, I'm, I never want to see you again. She says, we're leaving. They leave. Like the sister. Because, like, I don't know. I just thought I'd be like, how does the <laughs> sister feel about this? Because now both of the, both her kids have gone rogue. <laughs> um, uh, it doesn't seem that Annie was a part of this. Uh, but the the you guys can piece together what, what seems to have happened is. Um, Adelaide met Shadison and started spending time with him and started to fall in love with him uh, and started realizing that she didn't necessarily want to go to school as much anymore, uh, which meant her grades started to drop. Uh, Annie tattled on her to their mom. Mom talked to her. Mm. Adelaide told her mom that she was going to go and her mom hired out the cabal to get rid of the negative influence in her daughter's life. Oh, wow. Oh dear, that's that's a bit pretty dark. Whoops. Yeah. There's, there's an episode of Jeremy Kyle in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's actually Adelaide's dad. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, so yeah. good. So good. Um, what would you guys like to do with this confessed criminal? Um, turn. Mm, well, that's. I mean, I. I'm so annoyed with her. I just want to like turn her into the police. Told her dead. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> just kill her. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> Do we think that she should be uh, that she should be taken in, or yeah. essentially putting out a hit on her daughter? Her yeah. daughter's uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What would that be in legal? Is that like a accessory to or murder? Or... Uh, I, it would be uh, oh, conspiracy, accomplice, yeah, conspiracy, conspiracy, to, conspiracy. Yeah. conspiracy yeah. to murder. Yeah. Um, um, if you're paying somebody else to do it, then like, yeah, you're completely responsible for it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah she uh, needs to be turned in, regrettably. Yeah. Well, not regrettably. Well, look, uh, 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 last, I'll turn to Adelaide and Shadison and say we're we're gonna have to turn her in unless unless you and I'll say this quietly unless you'd rather not. But unless you have anything to say about it, we're gonna have to turn her in for this. Do it. Do it. Okay. Um, for expediency's sake, Calidus Calva arrests her and uh, starts getting uh, in contact with uh, Garen Seal to deal with uh, the court case that will be brought against her. Is the sheriff aware yes. of the of the, the cabal and- You'll, you, you can inform him of, uh, of the cabal. Um, okay. No, he's not, uh, he's not aware of the cabal unless you tell him. Okay. I think will we tell him? Isabin doesn't. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't. Because technically I'm like, a, I'm a former criminal. Basically, <laughs> I've got, I'm still, I've still got shit I could be arrested for, so. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Uh -huh. Bit the old. Um, amazing. That uh, concludes that mystery. Uh, what is the next thing you guys would like to do? Nurgle's owned a, a, owed a spell? I, I'd like to collect my spell. Absolutely. That would have been bloody handy earlier. <laughs> <laughs> um, one hundred percent. You guys make your way to the bookshop uh, for a bit of levity. After that, um, Glyn got to find his glasses. Oh, here he is. Oh here yeah. Is. Uh, welcomes <laughs> you all. Uh, hello, one and all, to the 
across your bookshop. I've been expecting you. Uh, Nurgle, that's 300 gold pieces for the Phantasmal Force Illusory Spell. Mm, there we go. Uh, who's, who's, uh, who's chief cashier here? Is it, is it Bin's got all the money, aren't, aren't they? Yeah. I do. I got the cash. You're the financier. Oh, it is a bit chairman, chairwoman, chairperson. Can I do a spell and go pieces, please? I'd really like to get this spell. <laughs> <laughs> Is it been very great, very happily give him his money because she likes having spells much. around. Three hundred gold pieces looks very nice in his hairy palms. Um, <laughs> splashes it across the counter. <laughs> there you go. Um, just out of interest, what did you think about the performance the other night? I was going to compliment you very much on your performance. I thought it was excellent indeed. Thank you very much. Now where is the scroll? Uh, and he presents you with uh, this scroll, which will take will take a few minutes to copy out. Mm. Um, but he's he's uh, asked that you copy it out and not take it from the the premises. So he's, there's a little table uh, set up where you can uh, you can concentrate for a few minutes and copy it. Excellent. Nerfle pulls out his little uh, pot of ink and he has a very uh, very old looking quill uh, and you see him like lick the end of the quill like yeah, and into the ink and you see him sort of it's quite beautiful writing actually considering he's quite you know gross looking uh, he's, he's, he's quite the scribe and you see him sort of take quite a lot of care and dedication into to writing out the spell scroll and uh, uh, yeah yeah uh, and he's very, uh, very delicate with the uh, the scroll afterwards, and he hands it back, uh, knowing that it is of value. It's not just something you can just toss about. And mm. it's uh, very much appreciated. I look forward to using this spell at a later time. Mm. Uh, I'm very glad indeed that uh, that we were able to do business. This is a particularly useful uh, spell, and uh, you've treated my property with. Great respect. That uh, that goes a long way. I heard uh, that you were also involved in some in-town heroics. <laughs> mm, well, that's kind of our thing. We're a traveling band uh, mm. slash nosy uh, investigators slash uh, burner of bodies. Um, it's just Gosh. kind of what we do. All around badasses. Mm. Indeed. I thought it prudent to prepare a little something extra uh, as a gift. Uh, I tried to steal. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to come to that in a minute. Uh, it's not the book that you tried oh. to steal. <laughs> we'll come to that in a second. Um, he uh, slides you a spell scroll that he has copied fresh for you this day. Um, and it is a uh, spell scroll that he gives you, uh, Nurgle, and it is the spell scroll for the third level spell, Phantom Steed. Wow! Love that. So that you can get places very quickly. Phantasm yeah. Steed. Phantom Steed. I can't remember what the other spell was. It Phantasmal uh, Force, wasn't it? Phantasmal Force. Mm. While all of this is going on, Tom Barr, there is a book that is calling to you on this <laughs> bookshelf. <laughs> you can no. you can see it. Um, this is ready. One hundred percent. Um, as you go to lift this book um you uh you can see um actually go ahead and give me the, the give me a sleight of hand uh, with advantage if you'd like to do the same thing you did before and mage hand it off the shelf oh yes mage hand okay so you roll twice take the highest one Thirteen. 
The highest one's a 13? Yeah, the highest one's 13. My lowest was five. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay. Um, fantastic. Uh, you see, as you go to, uh, as to, to pick up this book, um, it's sort of a very dark, uh, leather-bound tome with a clasp on it. Um, very, it briefly flickers in your hand and appears to be quite an ordinary book from one of the other shelves. Interesting. Uh, which allows you to take it. Um, and, uh, and Glenn says, ah, for that particular tome, that's going to be uh, two gold. Two gold? Yes. Um, Beef-bearing shanties and best uses for oysters. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Uh, fantastic. Uh, minus two gold from your inventory, and this book is yours. Sweet. I'm just going to write that so it's now I've now got... got hmm. I've written over so many numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is it? <laughs> um, I'm going to rewrite this out. Um, two gold, 73. Sweet. But the flicker basically means that it's not the book that the the seller saw. He thought it was a different book from a different shelf and not a book from the restricted area of the shop. Oh yeah, boy, I got a restricted <laughs> book. <laughs> um, fantastic. Um, we will uh, come back to uh, your guys uh, final gig, uh, anything to do with Edgar um, next time. Uh, but I will say for the sake of this, uh, when you get out of the shop as a way of, uh, as a way of closing out this session, um, Tom Bar, you go ahead and open this book. And uh, from the pages uh, appears a spectral form that only you can see that says, <clears throat> oh, it feels good to get out of that novel there. Oh, hello there. Another tiefling pirate I see. Lovely to meet you. My name is Short Sam Gold. At your patron, service. Patron, patron, patron. <laughs> <laughs> And that is where we will call it for tonight. That's awesome. Thank you very kindly, everybody, for watching. Tune in next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, please consider giving us a like, giving us a comment, subscribing, doing all of the, the fiddly little YouTube bits, uh, as well as hitting us up on social media. We've got Facebook. We've got Twitter. Uh, we've got Instagram, uh, we've got all these things that we would love to discuss these ongoing stories with you, uh, and just have a conversation, be part of the community. We, we would love that. Do it, please, or not. Be your own person, but do what I say. <laughs>